Joe Biden has put solidarity ahead of his own personal safety. Air raid sirens and no real guarantee of security. As air raid sirens blared. This was incredibly dramatic, Andrea. It was historic as well. Historic, timely, and brave. The first American president to go to a war zone with no U.S. military presence for security on the ground. Uh, American presidents have made dramatic trips before. Nixon to China, Kennedy, Reagan to the Berlin Wall, and presidents have visited U.S. troops in war zones, but never like this. To find a a day of this kind of presidential bravery in a war zone, you've got to go all the way back to 1864. With Biden's trip uh, to Europe, you know, he is he is welcomed as not only the, the frankly the savior of Ukraine, but also the savior of Europe as a whole. It's historic. It's the first time that a U.S. president has gone into an active war zone that the U.S. military does not have control over. And against all odds, um, it was successful. The continuing threat quite literally sounding all around the two leaders. The skies here are not safe. And in fact, an air raid siren went off while President Biden was here. Seeing the American president there walking the streets of Kyiv while air raid sirens literally sounded in that moment about possible incoming fire from Russia. The wail of an air raid siren. Air raid sirens wailing in the background. Seemingly undeterred by an air raid siren. Undeterred by the sound of air sirens. President Biden's ability with his aviators on to walk through in broad daylight in Kyiv. The swagger of this trip. Not just the, 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 the execution, the secrecy, but the swagger of it on display on the streets of Kyiv.